A quick plug for my second channel, since my last upload had a good amount of views there, and I am getting close to reaching a milestone for that channel. It an in-depth look at a recent film released on Netflix titled, Leave the World Behind. I encourage everyone to check it out and show your support or critique with a comment. Thanks, link in description. Oh look at that. They can teleport objects right into the scene. The passage discusses the use of smart contact lenses that can project virtual reality without the need for bulky headsets. This is how it works. Mojo Vision CEO tested a smart contact lens in his eye. Well, they got these contacts now that can project virtual reality right through the lens. And they can use this technology to broadcast things right through your vision without having to wear those clunky virtual reality headsets. Let's go back to the astronauts hanging out in the space station, the guy floating past on his wire. Well, if you're working with 3D objects, virtual reality, contact lenses, and holograms, and you're doing live broadcasts, you're definitely going to run into some technical difficulties like what we're seeing here. The video layer that's supposed to mask out the harness and the attachment is not working properly. So that's why we see this guy attached to a harness. Well, later on in the video, if you watch the guy in the green shirt, oh, what was that? All that empty space that people are interacting with. You can see the other guy flipping the hat, the microphone is floating. But if one of their video channels is down and they're using virtual reality contact lenses, this guy is seeing something in virtual reality that's floating around. He takes that object that's floating around in front of him that he sees with his contact lenses and sets it off to the side. The advancement of smart contact lenses introduces a new way to experience virtual so, reality. With all the different elements that puts the scene together, and then they have to combine that with a live broadcast, you're going to see some mess ups here and there. He's reaching out and grabbing a little oopsie and placing it off to the side. Leave the world behind is happening in real life. Here's three events that recently happened similar to the movie. First off, Apple Watch is being banned in the United States. Specifically, the Apple Watch 9 series and the Apple Watch Ultra 2. Why are Apple Watches being banned? It's because they're facing a lawsuit over how Apple Watches use the blood oxygen feature. So if you have an Apple Watch, beware. But things get worse because Tesla recalled almost 2 million cars. And you won't believe why. It's because they're worried about Tesla's autopilot. To make things worse, just 8 days before this recall, there were 8 serious slash fatal crashes because of autopilot. So if you drive a Tesla, I'd be careful. And last but not least, Mark Zuckerberg is building a hundred million dollar bunker. He's building it on the island of Hawaii. I don't know why bunkers were used in the movie, but ultimately people are concerned why he's building one now. And this is no normal bunker. The doors to the bunker are able to withstand a bomb. And there's enough food and water in that bunker to survive a while. But at the end of the day, what do you guys think about this situation? Do you think the movie Leave the World Behind was trying to tell us something? Or is this all one huge coincidence? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, and follow for more. I'd be inclined to do what the rich is doing. The problem is, I don't have the funds to make that happen. It sucks to be a sheep. You heard of the Pegasus drone. You know I have it. This drone, all AI, and the human eye can't see it. It's non-detectable. And you're probably thinking, oh, like radars and stuff, right? No, the human eye can't see it. Oh my gosh. It has cameras on the top and it projects the sky above it, below it on like these LED panels. Passage introduces the Pegasus drone, an A-powered drone that is completely invisible to the human eye. It describes how the drone uses cameras and LED panels to project the sky below it, making it undetectable to traditional methods. How does the Pegasus drone achieve complete invisibility to the human eye? What are the implications of a drone that cannot be detected by radar or other traditional means? The Pegasus drone represents a remarkable advancement in stealth technology. What possibilities does this breakthrough hold for surveillance, military operations, and other fields? Can we trust that this level of invisibility will be used responsibly?
Nobody liked the ending of the new Netflix movie, Leave the World Behind, but I did, and I'm going to tell you why it is so symbolic. This scene, this scene right here, freaked me out the worst. Going on this year with the 90s sitcom Friends, Matthew Perry, Joja Cat, now this movie, it tells you everything. Look at all of the brands that she is eating. Those brands are in there for a reason. They are the top corporations. Not only are they the top corporations, but they are poisoning us and our children. These big corporations pump their food with chemicals and they're all connected, but with different brands. And then what Julia Roberts' character says is this. Every day, all day, my job is to understand people well enough so that I can lie to them, to convince them to buy things that they don't really need. Character is a reflection of how we treat each other. She says we fuck each other over all of the time without even realizing it. We fuck everything over on this planet. We all just walk around acting like it'll be fine because we have paper straws and free range chicken. But when shit really hits the fan, we realize that this thing that we're chasing all of the time, these material things and this money, means nothing. I mean, cash might be the only thing that means something. If you think about it, the world is ending and everything is being invaded. Does cash really mean anything at that point when you're so isolated and your kid is sick? In real life, we have had scares that the American dollar is being devalued. I also found this scene really disturbing, not only because of the radiation, but who here has had dreams that their teeth are falling out. Am I the only one who's had dreams about their teeth? They targeted America specifically, okay? This wasn't like a global apocalyptic movie that we've seen in the past. Is that even the mega wealthy, yeah, they may have had bunkers, but at this point when we're being completely invaded, it's because they wanted us to turn against each other. And that is exactly where we're headed if we don't stop. They say it's not about Republican or liberal, it's about what's doing right for society in our environment, which leads us to this graveyard right here. Her character brings up power plants multiple times. You take for granted what power plants are and most of us don't even know what they are. Oh, we're going green to charge our batteries. Her vice president Camilla said, wouldn't it be great to have a battery powered bus? Well, guess what? If you don't have power plants and you don't have electricity, how are you going to run your car? No matter what we have in the world, we need power plants which is run by fossil fuels. So go green all you want. And yeah, I'm not saying it's not affecting carbon emissions. You need fossil fuels and power plants to charge up your cars. There's no way around it. We only had DVDs left to watch. It was a really great movie and I highly recommend everybody watching it because it puts so many morals and values that current issues that we have going on in the world to the forefront. If this is some type of message, God, I hope we get the hint in time. I am with you. I hope we get the message in time. We have the power to overcome. So this weekend, I watched Leave the World Behind. So the whole movie kept my attention, and then at the end, I was like, what? Like, what is this? So I rewatched it, because clearly I missed something, right? And then I was like, what kind of ending is that? Then I watched it a third time and focused more on the movie, every detail, instead of just worrying about the ending. And then the ending made sense to me. And it's kind of the least important part of the film. I got class can't save you, technology can't save you, race can't save you. Hell, we might not be able to save our damn self. It's all about survival. How in the hell are we gonna survive? And you're gonna need one another. It's like the Hunger Games. It's like the end of the world as we know it. And to the people who manage to get bunkers, that sounds good. To the people who don't have them, need to get inside that bunker. At least that's what I got from it. People turning on one another, status, money, none of that can save you because none of that won't matter. It's useless in this new world. I also noticed a lot of hidden things in this movie, but it took like the fourth time that I watched it to get it. I'm gonna watch this again. Have y'all seen this? Did it mentally have you sitting there like, Hmm. You know it was directed by the Obamas. Feels like the ending for me is the author's way of telling us that we should all be friends then turn on each other in time of despair. I've read there are three books associate to the film so leaving with a cliffhanger could probably reel us in for the next one. What I mean when I say I'm scared of dolls.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. F okay? about screaming for your parents because they're already oh my fucking god i swear to god this thing just fucking looked at me oh my fucking So a lot of you saw my last video about the movie Leave the World Behind, and I said it had a lot of demonic symbolism. So we went and found more. Like on the emergency TV broadcast, the map of the United States has a hidden QR code. My phone camera couldn't really read it though because it was so blurry. And the screen in the hidden bunker had numbers on the screen that looked like they were spelling DIE666. On the other screen it reads the numbers 0917 and the time 204. Could something be going on September 17th, 2024? I mean as long as you see it and don't say no, to them it's consent and their hands are clean. I mean just look at all these images before that big event happened many years ago. But then again, I could just be reaching. The QR code points to leads to Lake Shawnee Abandoned Amusement Park in Mercer County, West Virginia. The park is described on its website as unnatural and is considered one of the world's most haunted places. With a dark history involving a Native American burial ground, violent deaths, and freak accidents. As for the meaning, that is up for interpretation. This video is becoming a sensation. UFO is seen in mid-air over South America. This looks a lot like the objects that were captured on October 16th by Camilo A. Herrera, who posted these photos and said that the UFO was seen in mid-air over South America large in size, captured with a four Humboldt Puerto Minero lens. It was too large to be any of the three usual suspects. The only one that fits is a large balloon. But what's odd is that it remained static for a long time and descended instead of rising further. I'd say it behaves like those three, but not exactly. What the fuck? Bitch, what? Hey, what the fuck? Forma de platillo. Pointing it right at him. And now he's turning. Ooh. Yeah. Flashed. Yeah, you see him? Yeah, I just it just flashed. I'm I'm lasering a, or at him and he's curving. I thought, or at least felt, that 2023 would have been a breakout year for UAP evidence. But honestly, it feels just like any other. I must say, though, that some of the clips caught is quite compelling. The yearning question, will we have an interview with an alien in 2024? I told you guys three months ago that Barack Obama was going to put out this movie about the apocalypse and we needed to watch it. Literally, the people who were making this movie for Barack Obama said that all of his notations and the way that he wanted this film to be done scared the shit out of them because it felt so real. And Barack Obama came out himself and said he's adding stuff that he learned while being president to make this a real apocalypse seeming movie. If you are a conspiracy theorist or one of the woke people, you will know that this movie is a warning. It's not just for shits and giggles. 
Barack Obama has showed us exactly what the apocalypse looks like. And contrary to belief, it ain't zombies and it ain't meteor showers. This movie literally talks about war. Having presidential knowledge would put more credibility on stamping the realism of the film, for sure. If doomsday were to happen, maybe we could use this as reference. Throughout history, narratives or symbols in films and TV shows have seemingly foreshadowed real-world occurrences, like the eerie parallels between the lone gunman and the 9-11 attacks. Now, consider Leave the World Behind on Netflix. Its underlying message prompts us to prepare for a catastrophic event that could disrupt our familiar lives. Literally, the people who were making this movie for Barack Obama said that all of his notations and the way that he wanted this film to be done scared the shit out of them because it felt so real. While fictional, the film raises questions about the fragility of our systems, echoing real-world vulnerabilities. Against the backdrop of economic uncertainty, the rise of artificial intelligence, global conflicts, and societal divisions, is our existence more delicate than we realize? Did anyone notice the Tesla scene from the movie, Leave the World Behind, produced by Barack and Michelle Obama? Then a few days later, after the movie was released, Tesla recalls all their vehicles on the autopilot system. Tesla recalling nearly all the electric cars it sold in the U.S. That's more than two million. Tesla says it needs to fix a defective system that's supposed to ensure drivers are paying attention when they use autopilot. The company will send out a software update to fix the problems. It comes after the government found that Tesla's autopilot can be inadequate and can lead to misuse of the system.